Now, as far as the underlying values are concerned, I can't think of any value which uh, one would regard as paramount in Islam, as important in Islam, which is incompatible with uh, this age or any other age, which is why one argues that the religion is for all times. I interpret that um, statement that Islam is for all times to mean that there are underlying values and principles which do not change. For instance, humility, kindness, generosity, love, trust, these are values that are eternal. They've remained for all times and that's the way it's going to be. I do not think you can have a civilization in the future which regards mistrust as something positive or which regards niggardliness, selfishness, cruelty, oppression as positive values. I don't think that's going to happen. The problem with a lot of Muslims is this. They have misunderstood what is meant by the eternal character of Islam. Its eternal character doesn't lie in its rules and regulations. It doesn't lie in its laws and um, certain practices. That's not eternal. These things change from time to time. But what is eternal are the values. And this is also a position that is compatible with other religions. It's the values which count that will remain there forever.